Okay, so this is a uh, QC 32 channel uh, DVR. It's a, a security camera, and the power supply went out. So I had to verify that that was the case. So you can see the power supply that I took out of it, and then the one I hooked up. It's just a regular PC power supply. It has the 8-pin uh, uh, CPU connector. That's the only thing that powers this thing up. It's 12 volts. That's all it is. Yeah, so my friend said, yeah, this my, my DVR broke. And I go, what's it doing? He goes, well, it won't power up. I go, oh, well, that's probably a power supply. So that's what I that's the approach I took on it power this up. I'm still using the uh, the 20 pin connected to this motherboard even though the CPU isn't powering up over there on that on the wall computer on my test bed. But the DVR powered right up and uh, there you go. So I went on Amazon looking for a replacement for it and the exact part number uh, is only available from China and those were like uh, well who knows how long it's going to be maybe up to a month. They were saying uh, it could be up to a month for shipping on these things. So I said, well, all right, fine. Let me just, uh, I just need this. I need 12 volts and ground. And that's all I need. I need an 8 pin. Four of the lines are uh, 12. The other four are ground. No big deal. I should be able to source a multitude of units. So I went on Amazon and uh, I found one that was actually better. Uh, the one that came with this unit is 150 watts, and we're powering up four three and a half inch spinning disk drives. These are the, uh, I think this is a one terabyte factory, and I think I took a one or a two terabyte out or a one terabyte, and replaced it with uh, three uh, two terabyte units. So I think it has seven terabytes total. It's enough. The uh, the application for this unit is uh, 32, well, there's about 25 cameras or so, and they have to archive this uh, data for, I think, up to a month or so. So the one I found on Am there there's the close look at, you can see all the 12 volts are just connected together there. And the, the, uh, the reason I decided to work on this was, uh, you can see here clearly on this ITX AP 300 watt, it has a PV, uh, it's only a four pin, or at least that's what they advertise it as. So my intention was to pull these uh, wires out and just reuse this harness for uh, hooking up to the new power supply. I was just gonna have to modify it a little bit, but um, no big deal. Oh, and incidentally, the uh, power supply that I did order is twice the wattage and it's a, actually it's an ITX uh, type power supply. It's designed for a real PC so it has the 24 pin, it has the uh, 12 volt, it has SATA and Molex and all that stuff. So I pulled this harness out because I thought I needed it so I got it all stripped out, got it ready to go. But it turns out I really didn't need it uh, and I'll show you why here in a minute. Who's a good boy, girl? There's, so there's this new uh, power supply. Came in on from Amazon. It was twenty nine dollars. Well, thirty bucks, twenty nine ninety nine. And the re exact replacements, like I said, were coming from China, and were like seventy dollars. And I thought, well, that doesn't make any sense. I'm getting half the unit for twice the money, and the delivery time was malleable, shall we say? We don't know how long that is. So anyway, I got this overnighted, and it looks like it's a nice little unit. Uh, I, it has mixed reviews, but I did test it, and it seems to be fine. The, uh, I was a little surprised here when I opened it up and got all the parts out and started looking at it closely. Uh, it actually had the connection I needed. So... All that time and effort I put into pulling the harness out of that old power supply was, was for naught. But that's okay. I mean, whatever. I don't really... Uh, eh, it's just something to do anyway. So here is the new power supply. Like I said, it's 300 watts. The one downside to this little setup is, is that it, I 
do not now have an external power switch. It's a perfect uh, exact replacement unit in terms of its dimensions and it's uh, like I said 30 bucks I couldn't go wrong so I just went with it you can see the, the cases are exactly the same it has a whole lot more stuff on it that I just don't need uh, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do so the QC was had a cheap power supply in it and this thing had been running for a while so I, I, I'm going to guess three years so far, and look at that. There's the one I needed. Now, again, the, the, uh, the Amazon ad clearly showed this thing as only having a 4-pin 12-volt uh, connection. And I was like, all right, fine, whatever. I'll just put that other harness on it. But when I actually got it, it had an 8-pin. So I don't really know what to tell you on that. Other than I got mo I got exactly what I needed, rather than uh, having to modify it, it came perfectly suited for what I was doing. I just added the little uh, support uh, bracket onto this one, came off the old one. It didn't have the the right hand screw, but it went into that little uh, that little air vent and threaded in perfectly. So I was happy with that. And again, a, a very easy. Uh, upgrade C certainly better than having to go out and uh, spend hundreds of dollars to replace this 32 channel DVR unit that already had a coax uh, video infrastructure in place now the new stuff I guess is what they're selling uh, customers that are kind of forced to uh, migrate to the newer stuff is they're all looking at or RJ45 connections so we they would have had to uh, rewire the entire building with uh, RJ45 instead of what they have in there, which is all coax, which didn't make any sense to them at all. So um, this was a much better, easier, better, I mean, all, all around better. I, my guess is this power supply will probably uh, outlive the other one. It'll work half as hard. It's powering up four... Uh, like I said, four three and a half inch spinning drives plus this motherboard, all off those uh, 12 volt connections. And as I showed you on the old power supply, it was all coming off one 12 volt rail. These, on the other hand, probably have uh, multiple 12 volt rails that they use to support. Uh, well, you can see the wires going in there. There's multiple wires coming off this power supply thing. And like I said, most of them I'm not even going to use. But anyway. A lot of this next bit is just me futzing with this uh, support bracket. Trying to get that thing uh, mounted. Nothing really exciting here. So there's going to be some... It's just all there. I mean, you know, you can see what I did to make it work, but it's uh, not very, I really didn't think I can tell you about it. It goes in there like that. And, uh, worked fine. I guess in the, uh, in other industries we would call this fitting. <laughs> how it's going to look. So I'll go ahead and put that in the case, finally. There was only, uh, I can only put three of these uh, mounting screws in the power supply fourth one on the lower bottom wouldn't fit. It just wouldn't uh, this was kind of a weird case. The form factors weren't exactly the same. Manufacturers do this on purpose so that you'll have to come to them for parts, which I like, yeah, no. Not me. I don't need to do that. I can go, with, I can go three out of four ain't bad. <laughs> It's not like this is going to be in a road case going around places. It's going to be 
and static in one spot, it'll be fine. Probably do fine with two screws, but end up putting three in there just to get it kind of snugged in. So, like I said, this kind of is all just fitting and dressing and finishing out the uh, the build here. Not very exciting. So, the way we're going to do this <coughs> is... Uh, since there's no on-off switch on this uh, unit in the back here, what we have to do is we have to put a little jumper on this 20-pin hanging here down here. So the the jumper uh, is basically a paper clip. Uh, it's nothing fancy. It goes between pins four and five, and what that does is is that turns. Uh, it's, it's essentially the equivalent of having that um, that short thing that I did up on the other motherboard there to get the power supply running. So this will be, uh, once the unit's plugged into AC, it'll be always on. So just a little paper clip works fine. It's conductive enough, no big deal. So pins four and five shorted together. Woohoo! That's going to be the power supply uh, turn on. Where all the rest of these wires are just going to get dressed out, get out of the way. So I'll just unplug that other power supply. I've got the uh, 12 volt rail plugged into the motherboard. Turn that bad boy on. Plug it by plugging it in, basically, and fires right up. So there's two ways you can deal with this. Um, one way is just to plug it in and you know you're going to go. Or you could plug it into a, a power strip and have a switch on it. So, whatever. I have the switch there instead. Kind of does take a while to boot up. Not, not exactly super fast. Doesn't have to be. It's, a, it's just a DVR. For but again, the new power supply checked out fine. Uh, up and running, no worries. Those little fan was making a hell of a noise. I had to really beat the crap out of it to get it quiet. And it's always going to be noisy. It's a little case fan. I took some compressed air and cleaned out all the heat sinks and all the fans that I could that I could but um, that one fan just noisy as hell cheap crap but we bought it I mean they bought it and they want to use it so there you go no big deal and there's your 32 cameras of course I have nothing plugged in but uh, up and running so I didn't have the password to this thing so I couldn't shut it down gracefully I just pulled the power power out and that worked fine I mean you know power goes out so they have to be able to deal with that and uh, the rest of the I'm gonna uh, do some I'm gonna power this off again and uh, we'll, do, we'll dress up those cables get them out of the way close this project up no big deal I'll take I'll take that uh, I'm going to shorten that um, paper clip significantly so it just barely comes out of the 24 pin just kind of a little looks like a little nub can't even hardly see it just doing some more testing here plug a mouse into it Make sure it's working. Yep, working fine. 
100%. So like I said, I, I didn't have the password, so I couldn't really go in and explore too much of it. But I checked it out. It does. It's functioning. If I had the password, I could get it in the administration of it, but there's no need for me to do that. It didn't lose any of its uh, security stuff, so it'll be fine. It'll plug and play. So that's it, pretty much. Uh, the rest of this video is just kind of cleaning stuff up and getting it uh, ready to put back into service. It's nothing uh, too exciting, but the good news is that if you have a QC, there's the little... Uh, shortened uh, jumper wire there I used for the 24 pin kind of stuffed it in there dressed all those cables out did another fire up test again make sure it all worked and yeah, it's good to go so but if you have a QC uh, unit and it doesn't turn on uh, I would probably recommend that you could look into getting a new power supply for it and it probably will work again. It's uh, it wasn't too terribly difficult to figure this one out, and uh, I give uh, strong recommendation that if you have one of these expensive units and you don't want to retire it and change all of your stuff out, then I would highly recommend you getting a new power supply and giving it a try, or just somebody who has a PC power supply to test it at least. That's what I would recommend anyway. So uh, the good news is, is this was all a pretty easy adventure. Um, I spent a few hours a day on it, a couple days. And uh, other than that, I guess I will see you on the next one. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, give me a like. Thanks. There it is, ready to go. Cheers.